And um, after they didn't want to do the open show anymore, uh, the producers you know, were looking for something else and said, we'd like to do something with you. So we developed uh, a kind of a sitcom for children called Eric's World. And we did that and sold it to, to all of the provincial networks. And we did that for five years. And that was a campaign. Yeah, it was also a campaign. Yeah. But that, that was, uh, yeah, it was a sitcom. That was a little bit more uh, storyline. Yeah. Yeah, we had yeah we had actors and uh, we did still put three songs per show in, but there was more of a story, you know. And there was uh, CJ, the uh, the puppet, was, he was just amazing. He was incredible. I never I could never see him as a puppet. I mean, you understand having having been a puppet That's that it. that uh, there are ways when you get into costume you're a different character and you're a different character from the inside out as well. Um, but he was just wonderful. Yeah, I will ask you to do a voice. I need to really. Do uh-huh, uh-huh, right. Uh, there was a time, uh, the, the elephant, um, she was very careful about, about either being the elephant or being somebody else, and, and she would go around advertising that she was the elephant, and, and if, after a show, she would have a custom mop, and she'd be standing out there, and she wouldn't be saying, I'm the elephant. Anyway, came, a family came backstage, and this is two years down and sees the, the elephant costume crumpled because it's deep in the floor. Sees it, and, and she starts to bawl. It's like, the elephant, elephant. And so the, the, the dancer, uh, uh, Paula, comes over and says, no, 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 that's just a costume. It's just a costume. I'm inside the costume and I play the elephant. And she's going, elephant, elephant. And so, and so Paula says, okay, look, look, I'll, sh I'll show you. And she picks up the costume, she says, you see? And she puts the head on, and the kid goes, elephant! That's right, that's right. Yeah. That's, and that You're is alive the, again! That's the amazing thing about kids. Uh, they, they, once that head is on it, the persona is there, yeah. they buy into it. And everything yeah. else in between that, the, the right. getting into the costume, you're right. right. Yeah. <laughs> they don't see that. Uh, yeah, and, and when we do, as adults, we'll get into that, we'll, we'll watch the costume being put on and we'll have this kind of, uh, uh, emo not emotional, intellectual piece that says this is just because of, but we wind up getting into it. Uh, when you do the, these workshops, that, that's part of what you do with the Human Awareness Institute, is to actually get people to exist in the now and to bring out that inner child. Well, yes, um, not in an edu not in an entertaining no, no way, very educational, self awareness sort of way. Yeah, um, what the what the workshops do? Um, I, I just uh, it, it just was just like coming home for me when I when I went to my first um, human awareness institute workshop. It's essentially a smorgasbord. It's essentially a laboratory, which gives you the opportunity to explore what does love mean to you, what does sexuality. Mean? intimacy mean for you. And you're not given answers, but you're given every kind of opportunity to explore. And of course, if you're, if you're exploring love, intimacy, and sexuality, it has to be in a safe place. And so there's a great deal of, um, of attention that's paid to just making this environment as safe as it possibly can be, so that we can explore these, these aspects of ourselves. Um, and it's in a com completely non-judgmental way. Yeah. Being more comfortable with myself. One of the first things that we do in the group uh, is uh, ask people to just close their eyes and just shout, speak out some words that love me. And uh, and then afterwards, uh, to open your eyes and see what so Why aren't you there all the time? It takes you out of there. And of course, what everybody says is fear. And, and, and with the, the human awareness part of their um, uh, statement. Is uh, to create a world where everyone wins, to replace ignorance and fear with awareness and love. So I think you should you should come and take some workshops. I, I well now, like I said, I, I know John and Marty all and they're, they're, and, and they're wonderful people. They actually uh, I think invite people out. I think they built that place mm -hmm. so they can have more love loving experiences. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, because I know there are other workshops that are held out there, right? and, and they're all in the same vein, um, different voices, right. uh, singing the same song, mm -hmm. talking about how I can be better me, right. and how I can get all that, right. 
kind of, there's, there's a cute expression, I like, where there's a, a little boy scooping through a pile of horse shit going, somewhere in here there's a pony. <laughs> and, it's, and it's that kind of approach that when I get into these workshops, they are work. They are intense, uh, serious looks within myself. And, and I go in to find that. I, I, I know if I'm going to pay to be in the seat, I'm going to get something out of it. And that's my, that's my motivation to know myself even, even a little better. Uh, now, so it's a, a tuitional program where people actually learn, they, they learn the tools to, mm -hmm. to be better, be more intimate, be more loving. Yeah, intimacy is like, as, as you were saying before, it's about, it's about fear and love. Like, for, we don't really, we are not really taught the tools, the, commu the communication tools to be able to be intimate and be safe. So mm -hmm. how can I keep myself safe? and be able to express myself at the same time. And there are tools to do that. There are, there are several. There are, there are um, well, first of all, there are tools about acknowledging what our boundaries are and, and um, being authentic with our boundaries. There are, there are tools about recognizing you know, what your judgment is and what that says about you much more than what it says about me. Right. And I want to how I feel for reality. Yeah. And a lot of it uh, in, the, in the workshops is about actually doing. Because you can talk about it, um, you can be talked to, you can be lectured to. There's no writing in this. There's all standing up and finding somebody and, and having an experience of doing it. And that's different from watching a TV show or, or even being facilitated by a book. Because you're, when you're there, when you're actually having the experience in, in the now, yeah. you, there's an emotional that you cannot have. Right. Uh, you actually are an emotional investment. Yeah. <clears throat> what, I, what I was doing therapy when I was taking the accounts in psychology, what made sense to me was that uh, the therapies that made sense to me were, were the ones where our words and our feelings and our actions were all going in one direction. Um, so, for example, if I was angry, to be yelling and screaming, also to be beating, just to be finding a safe place to do it, and not to be beating a person, but rather a pillow. Mm -hmm. But to have all of that going in one direction, because so much of the way we are taught is to separate. You know, I'm really angry. Oh, but I have no, I have no right to be angry because blah blah blah. It's like your head comes in and stops you and, and crashes that energy. But when you start to move all in one direction, um, you find great power. And so. In a, in a workshop experience, one wants to be doing 